most movies contain far more effects-based trickery than audiences will ever be aware of, and filmmakers can use subtle, even invisible effects to ensure the audience never doubts that it was pulled off the hard way. When a scene seems so authentic that we actively rally against the suggestion that it could have been faked, the filmmakers have most certainly done their jobs well. So let's dive in. I'm Adam, this is What Culture, and here are 10 dangerous movie scenes audiences refuse to believe were faked. Number 10. Jake Gets His Nose Cut, Chinatown Roman Polanski's neo-noir classic Chinatown features an unforgettable scene in which private investigator protagonist Jake Gitz has his nose cut by a knife-wielding gangster. Ever since the film's 1974 release, audiences have been wowed by the perceived realism of the effect, given that Polanski can be seen reaching the knife inside Jack Nicholson's nostril and flicking it away, in a relatively close-up shot with little room to hide the trick no less. As such, many chose to believe that Polanski and Nicholson, ever willing to suffer for their art, chose to do the deed the hard way, with Polanski wounding Nicholson for real. But of course, that wasn't the case. Instead, Polanski was holding a spring-loaded prop knife with a tube of blood attached to the other side of the blade, not visible on camera. It's an incredible effect that still looks terrific almost 50 years later, enough that folks can't really be blamed for believing Polanski might have legit nicked Nicholson. Number 9. Logan's Car Chase, Logan Early on in Logan, the title character attempts to flee from the villainous Pierce and his army of Reavers, resulting in a car chase as Logan tries to get himself, Charles Xavier, and X-23 to safety. Director James Mangold shoots the action with frequent glimpses of Hugh Jackman in the driver's seat while the Reavers pursue alongside him, seemingly making a pointed effort to tell the audience that yes, Jackman's doing at least some of the stunt driving himself. Yet the scene danger was mitigated in a totally unexpected way. Rather than simply film Jackman in the car against a green screen, Mangold shot the scene for real with a stunt driver and then had a high quality digital capture of Jackman's face placed over the top. Given that just about nobody noticed this while watching the movie, it's fair to call the end result pretty much flawless. Number 8. A Lion Enters the Office, The Wolf of Wall Street In literally the opening minute of Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street, we glimpse the hallways of infamous stockbroker Jordan Belford's firm Stratton Oakmont just as a lion is shown calmly parading amid the office workers. Though on the face of it, one would be led to assume that the scene was faked. This being a Martin Scorsese movie and all, many nevertheless assume that the master filmmaker found a more devious way to pull it off. Some believe that the scene was simply shot with the office workers acting silently, all while the lion was led through the office by a trainer who was later painted out of the shots. But that's ultimately only half true. Indeed, a trainer did lead the lion through the office area and was later digitally removed, but the dozens of office workers in the sequence weren't ever in the same room with the lion, presumably for safety reasons. Rather, they filmed their parts later and were quite seamlessly placed in. In the hands of other filmmakers, it'd be much easier to accept that this was a feat of VFX trickery, but Scorsese, being who he is, is one of the few who could have potentially pulled it off for real. Number 7. Leatherface Saws His Own Leg, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre concludes with Sally Hardesty gingerly escaping from the chainsaw-wielding Leatherface with the help of a passing trucker who throws a wrench at him, knocking him to the ground. As Leatherface falls to the floor, he drops the chainsaw onto his leg, which it immediately starts slicing into, much to his understandable anguish. It's an extremely realistic looking moment, especially with the flesh visible beneath Leatherface's trousers, which combined with the film's infamous production, led many to believe that Gunnar Hansen actually fell over and cut his own leg for real. But this wasn't what happened. Rather, Hansen wore a metal plate over his leg, which was then covered with meat and a blood bag, allowing him to make contact with it without harming himself. In theory, anyway. While shooting the sequence, which was the final shot for the movie, Hansen ended up burning his leg due to the friction of the chainsaw contacting with the metal plate. And so, the screams Leatherface makes during the scene, completely genuine on Hansen's part. Number 6. Maverick Flies an F-18, Top Gun Maverick now, in fairness, Tom Cruise has absolutely conditioned audiences to believe that just about every dangerous, high-wire action sequence he's involved with is performed by him more or less for real. But even Cruise can't do everything. 
We see Cruz's Pete Maverick Mitchell pilot numerous aircraft throughout Top Gun Maverick, and given that his prior release Mission Impossible Fallout saw him literally pilot a helicopter for the climactic action sequence, it was reasonable to believe that the ever committed actor did the very same here. And though Cruz really did pilot a number of aircraft for Maverick, there was one that was entirely faked the F-18 fighter jet. While the US Navy cooperated with the production, they wouldn't grant crews permission to fly one of their vessels, which cost around $65 million a piece. As a result, Cruz was forced to do what his co-stars did throughout production, sit in the back of a specially designed cockpit while the real pilot flew the fighter from the front. And yet, watching Maverick, most everyone surely assumed that Cruz of all people got the go-ahead to do all of his own flying, being the absolute stuntman that he is. Yet as it turns out, even Cruz gets doors slammed in his face every now and again. Number 5. All the Broken Glass, John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum The John Wick movies are a testament to the power of expertly choreographed stunt work, though considerably more of the mayhem is enhanced with CGI than you might actually believe. Case in point, early in the third film, John fends off a fleet of assassins in the hallway of an antique shop, where both he and his assailants break the surrounding glass display cases to fetch weapons inside. Given that the series focuses on practical stunt work where possible, it was reasonable to believe that Keanu Reeves and his scene partners were simply smashing easily breakable sugar glass with their elbows. But that's actually not true. Instead, every single piece of glass in the hallway was digital, with the actors simply mimicking smashing glass with their bodies during shooting. This presented a number of headaches for the VFX team, who had to individually track every single shard of broken glass, and also create digital reflections for the actors throughout the sequence. Oof, can you imagine? And yet, the overwhelming majority of viewers took all that painstaking work completely for granted by simply assuming that they were working with safety glass. Number 4. Nova Rides on Morris's Back, War for the Planet of the Apes The Apes trilogy's beloved orangutan Morris is rendered in such stunning detail that it's basically indistinguishable from the real deal. This proves especially head-spinning in the trilogy's concluding chapter, where Morris spends much of the movie interacting with a mute human girl, Nova. Now, everything in our logical thought processes tells us that the shots of Nova standing next to Morris and riding on his back are totally fake. And yet, Yet, it looks incredibly deceiving. We know that no $150 million movie is ever going to risk pairing an actor, especially a child, with a real life animal, no matter how well trained they might be. But the illusion is so impressively plausible that folks can't really be blamed for believing at least some of the shots saw Nova interacting with a real orangutan. Number 3. Eric Gets Shot, The Crow The Crow is of course a movie whose production history is clouded by the fact that star Brandon Lee died in an on-set accident while filming the 1994 comic book adaptation. Lee was killed by a misfired prop gun while filming his character Eric Draven's death scene. And given that Draven is shot to death, an urban legend soon did the round suggesting that director Alex Proyas included Lee's fatal take in the final cut of the movie. Now it goes without saying that this would be first and foremost a legal minefield to navigate, and more importantly extremely unethical for any filmmaker to do, even if the family had signed off on it. So to be clear, no, Eric Draven's death in the movie isn't in any way comprised of real footage of Lee's death, but rather a body double filmed from behind and in shadow to conceal their appearance. All the same, that hasn't stopped many still singing the legend as fact almost 30 years on. Number 2. Valkyrie Dives Under a Morton Joe's Car, Mad Max Fury Road Mad Max Fury Road is one of cinema's all-time great examples of a movie that looks like it features a lot less CGI than it actually does, with director George Miller expertly melding practical stunt work with exceptionally integrated VFX. There are many stunts throughout the movie which audiences were led to believe were executed for real, including the memorable late film beat where Valkyrie dives under a Morton Joe's car as it drives towards 
towards her. To look at it, it simply looks like actress Megan Gale, or at least her stunt double, literally hits the deck and stays low while the car actually drives over the top of her in a carefully choreographed stunt. Yet a VFX breakdown confirms the more sensible truth, that the shot was filmed in two parts. One take of Gale hitting the deck, and another of the car driving over the road, which were then expertly layered together in post-production. But the end result is completely seamless, and combined with both the first-rate stunt team and George Miller's reputation for doing things the hard way, makes it easy to believe that it might have been done for real. Number 1. The whole damn movie, The Blair Witch Project. There's been plenty of groan-worthy discourse online recently about whether some folks in the ancient past of 1999 actually believed that The Blair Witch Project was real, and of course, they absolutely did. This ingeniously executed and incredibly well-marketed found footage masterpiece persuaded millions that they were indeed watching the seemingly final days of a trio of young filmmakers who went missing in the woods, leaving behind only their recovered footage. It didn't hurt that the three leads, Heather Donahue, Michael Williams, and Joshua Leonard, were unknown actors who stayed out of the public eye during the film's initial release, while also being listed as missing presumed dead on IMDb. And so so at the time of the film's release, many completely bought the illusion and refused to believe that they could possibly be watching an expertly conceived work of fiction. This was surely aided by the fact that the audience never actually sees anything supernatural in the film, which would betray its implied realism. But of course, audiences are far too savvy for this sort of trickery these days, and it'd be much, much tougher to sell this to the viewers of 2023. And there we have it, my lovelies. 10 dangerous movie scenes audiences refuse to believe were faked. But please do let us know down in the comments of that one movie scene that you genuinely had no idea was faked. And while you're there, make sure you give us a like and a cheeky subscribe. If you want to follow me on socials, I am at strawn87 on all socials. You can come and say hello to me on there. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and the rest of your month. And until next time, take care.